You were never recruited by CU? Never. I'm pulling up a screen for him. I got some footage running, and I'm going to let him narrate what happened in this game. 1997 Oklahoma State versus Colorado football. Oh, Go ahead, T. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> right been, now we're just watching the thing, watching. It's been a minute. Gosh, been a minute. Lee, I haven't seen this in a little while. All right, here we go. You don't got to do play by play. Just tell us what you see. Oh man, um, dang! I see me running, running on Colorado. I made it a point to do whatever I can to embarrass them. Um, and so any opportunity I got to run or pass and 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 kill them with it, I was on it, man. And so it, and it it clicked too. There was not a bad moment. That well, there was one. Um, but other than that, man, it was like it, it was, everything was on. It was it was perfect, perfect setting, um, perfect night. It was on TV, so everybody here in Colorado got to see it. Um, it was exactly what I wanted. Um, so right now we're just looking at some clips. I'm running on them and, and throwing on them, and, damn, they can't stop us. It was kind of like that. that who was night. number 85? Number 85, Alonzo Mays, man. He was an uh, All-American tight end who ended up getting drafted by Chicago Bears in the first round. There's another run. Every time I run, it just felt like I was I was running for so many yards, man. 20 a pop, 30 a pop. Oh. Uh-oh. And quarterback sneak, tried to go over the top. My man caught me right in the head. Six points. Still got it. Another run. Just gashing them. I think I ended up with 100-plus yards that game. And was, I'm, the, I'm the quarterback. Was this game personal? Oh, very. And they knew that. Um, I think earlier in the week, 15-10, um, KDKO got a hold of me, man. And I'm trying to figure out how to get a hold of me on my dorm phone. Um, but I'm talking to them, and they asked me about the game. <laughs> and they asked me the same question. This is personal. I said, this is as personal as it can get. Um, number one, I mean, you got to understand, too, the background behind this game. Coach Simmons, who was our head coach, he was up for the job the year before I came out of school. Oh, they got me talking. Um, he was up for the job. Um, instead of giving it to him, who was it was highly recommended by Coach McCartney to Coach Simmons take that job. Instead of giving it to Coach Simmons, they gave it to Rick Neuheisel. Mm. And Rick New, Rick News Hiles is no he knows the stuff. He's a good guy, good recruiter. Um, but we all thought it was gonna go to Coach Simmons, and it didn't. So he took over the Oklahoma State job. As he's taking that over, he's bringing kids from Colorado. So I'm not the only one there. Just like what's something that sticks out in your head that you did when you were younger that you never thought will work or help you in the future in your football endeavors that did that your dad used to make you do. <laughs> <laughs> and I know why you're asking me this. I hate track. I hate track. We all hated to run. We hated to run. And and running wasn't just well, my dad running wasn't just sprinting and we're done. That wasn't no, that wasn't running. He he made us go beyond what we thought we would have to run. And yeah, he was doing it out of love and to get us better. You gotta understand we're football players, we're basketball players. We didn't come to TJ to run track. But somehow, some way, <laughs> he has all these football players running on that dang track. Um, it, was, it was a swollen. Swole, yeah, they're team. like, dang, man, look at these dudes. Are they supposed to be out here running? Y'all football players, why are y'all? And that's what, some of the questions they had. Why are y'all Why are y'all out here? Y'all play football. I don't know. We ain't got no choice. We, <laughs> our, our coach is making us run. Um, and to this day, even though we got good, we were good. Man, we were really good at running. We could run, even though we didn't like it. But we all knew what the result of us running on that track would be. It would be us being that much better on that football field. And you could see it year after year, like, damn, these dudes are really moving around. How the hell are they moving around like this now? We're not we're not really progressing as much, but looking at these dudes and playing against these guys, these dudes are really on it. Well, that was part of it. That was part running track, and we hated it. Until this day, We, you mentioned track. We don't want no parts of running. <laughs> don't want no parts of it. But, and then me being his son, you know, I couldn't get out of it. You know, I couldn't, you know, miss a track meet and act like I slept in or something. 
it wasn't happening. And so no matter how bad it hurt, no matter how much we had to do it, um, and, and at the end of the day, it made us better. What would you say to Tony as yourself now that you needed to hear back then? You need to work harder. <laughs> it's the truth. And I worked my ass off. I really did. And I had people to push me at all levels, even when I left my dad and uncle and all that, man. I was in college and there was people that were pushing me to the limits. I don't think I worked hard enough. I don't. I mean, I heard Dion the other day saying, give, give it y'all what, what, what you need to leave something out there for. Why are you leaving it out there? Give it up. Um, there was sometimes I gave it up and sometimes I didn't. So I wasn't consistent. I think um, just knowing that I gave it all I could would have gave me a better feeling um, looking back at it now.